So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen. I'm back. <laughs> and it is scary hours, bro. The top five scary videos you should never watch full screen. But I got mine set up full screen. I hope yours is set up full screen because we're going to watch it. All right. We're going to get into this video. Shout outs to Sir Spooks. Please go show him some love. Hit that subscribe button here as well. And remember, you asked for it. So let's get spooky, baby. <laughs> Here we go. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks and today we'll take a look at five scary videos. So let's begin. A woman on TikTok named Chrissy posted the following video to her account, stating that she was initially recording to show her viewers the unfortunate way her dog accidentally cut her lip while outside. The video starts off normally enough with Chrissy holding her dog closer to the camera so viewers can see the spot where her dog got cut. However, as you can probably imagine, this seemingly normal video is about to take a significantly darker turn for the worse in just a matter of seconds. Out of nowhere, Chrissy starts to notice something dark in the corner of her backyard, which completely captures her attention. About a moment or two later, Chrissy picks up the camera and flips the screen the other way so we can see what she's looking at. Long story short, it's terrifying. I don't see it. If you look just close enough, you should be able to make out what appears to be some sort of strange entity hiding behind a tree. As for what it is, we don't know. Chrissy says that she and her husband called the cops later, but she didn't describe whether or not they were able to help or not. Let's hope that they were. assuming when you live out in like an area like that or something because it looked like they were, might be out in the country or something like that that they got some weapons to protect themselves but my thing is i don't think that person was the only person in that yard though it's like kind of like the movie strangers where it's a couple of them and you're all around remember i think that was the name where they had the mask on them white mask dark eyes and it was it was like three or four of them yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's 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 what the vibes that just gave me. Imagine yourself sitting there though, and you that's what your dog, and then all of a sudden out the corner of your eye, you see somebody peek from behind a tree. Bro, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind, bro. Grabbing the family, putting them in a room, we backing ourselves in a to a corner, and we gotta protect bro. <laughs> It's go time. You may not believe it, but I do sometimes feel very angry and frustrated. In these moments, I really need to blow off some steam. Oh, this is a, uh, what's now? I was about to say, what is this? It came off where I got you. Here we go. Being a security guard at the San Francisco Armory would probably require someone who's pretty brave. However, I'm willing to bet that dealing with paranormal entities while on shift was not part of this man's job description. <laughs> the description of the video provides quite a bit of context to help us better understand what exactly is happening in the following footage. Quote, Armory Security Officer Alex Nunez, who has worked at the San Francisco Armory for over five years, captured a ghost opening the two main doors to the lounge in the Armory. After hearing what sounded like chairs moving in the lounge area, Nunes began recording on his phone. He would stop walking when he would hear movement in the lounge. The second time he stopped, he captured the two doors opening inwards towards the lounge. 
Nunez was the only person in the armory when this occurred on his shift. Upon inspection, all windows were shut and closed. End quote. So with that out of the way, let's take a look and see for ourselves. It's a long hallway. It's like you walk into to meet your doom. <laughs> you know he contemplating in his mind quitting. He's like, man, they don't pay me enough for this. <laughs> you know that's what's like, man. I don't pay me enough for this. Oh hell no! <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, dude. This is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm here in this building by myself, bro. By myself. Nope. Nope. <laughs> he went. He went right back behind the desk. I was like, nah. Me and him gotta be related, bro. Except I would have left. Yeah. As Alex slowly makes his way to the doors, they begin to open slowly by themselves, causing Alex to have a panicked reaction before quickly walking away from the area in fear. And it's hard to blame him, especially considering he is in the building by himself, with no other employees there to assist him. Thankfully, no harm came to Alex. But that still doesn't mean there wasn't anything keeping him company that night. Since this video is three years old, it's safe to assume that Alex is doing better now. Let's just hope that he doesn't have to deal with this creepy entity any longer. And then you know, some of them security companies don't give you nothing to protect yourself with, right? You got a badge, maybe a whistle, and a cell phone. <laughs> That's it. Man, please, no. Ain't no way. Tim Morisov is a popular paranormal investigator on YouTube who frequently uploads videos of himself venturing out to truly creepy locations to document his chilling finds. While all of his videos are unnerving, there are some that are creepier than others. In February of 2022, Tim heads out to a snow-covered forest in an unspecified location. However, just by taking a look at the area, it's clear there is absolutely nobody in sight. Or is there? At around the 13 minute mark, we see Tim walking around the forest when he suddenly finds pieces of red clothing strewn around the area strangely. Take a look and see. <laughs> Там еще одна. Дальше, впереди. Is that clothing or is that like somebody trying to mark off to get like back to somewhere? Like you know how you would mark off a tree and be like, yo, this tree is gonna lead me back to the house or to the cabin or the hotel or wherever we done ventured from. That's what that kind of looks like is what I'm getting vibes of right now. About 30 seconds later, he ends up finding something quite interesting in the midst of this massive forest. A tent. Who could possibly be staying in this tent in such cold weather? Well, despite how creepy this is, Tim nevertheless investigates anyway. Wait a minute, hold up, time out. You just gonna inv walk up to somebody's tent? You crazy, ain't nobody doing that. No, I don't believe you at this point. Are y'all doing that? Because I ain't doing that. You Are you out in the woods and just randomly see some things and it leads you to a tent? You going to walk up to it and open it? You are y'all crazier than I. <laughs> That's crazy. That could have been a escape convict who found a tent, pitched a tent out there in the middle of nowhere is trying to elude police. That could have been 
a regular person and they were in a tent sleeping and had something to protect themselves. That could have been, it could have been any number of things, bro. I don't, I don't like he did that. I don't like that. Mm-hmm. After exploring the tent and the surrounding area, Tim decides to press forward deeper into the forest. This, of course, proves to be a mistake. Take a look at what happens to him next. And then another thing, that tent looked at like brand new. Didn't it look brand new to y'all? So either it ain't been there long or he faking this video. One or the other. Before Tim can finally call it a day and head home, he is in for one last scare. Take a look and see. As you can see, the man from earlier disappears, leaving Tim with quite a story to tell because thankfully he ends up making it out of the forest in one piece. But who knows, if he hadn't been so quick on his feet, maybe this video would have never been uploaded. That's why I'm not buying it. I'm not buying that one. No way. Ain't no way. He just gonna, uh uh. Uh-uh. What was he trying to catch? An animal or a person? And then he walk up to you all strange and then he just let you go? Nah. Nah. In this YouTube video published in April of 2011, two friends and paranormal investigators Chris Riley and Jordan Sobis venture out to explore a house that they say has been left abandoned now for several years. When they get to the house, they do a bit of exploring and quickly find out just how creepy abandoned houses can truly be. But Yeah, I remember these two <laughs> right here, y'all. Check this out. But none of that even comes close to what they are about to witness. Take a look right here, and you should be able to make out something moving all by itself. Uh, I think it's downstairs. <laughs> However, that doesn't even come close to the strange things that these two friends are about to witness throughout the But that was sign number one. They ain't have to see it happen because I think they walked off down the hallway or something else. But they heard it. Sign number one. The next three minutes. Take a look at all of the chaos that is about to ensue and see the terror slowly start to settle in for both Chris and Jordan. Can you make known your presence to us somehow? God, dude, what in the world is that? Dude, what what in the world, man? Yo, yo, that's he was he was trying to break his neck to get out of there, bro. That's sign number two. What? Dude, hold on a second. Did that seriously just happen? Calm down. Calm down. What is going on? Is that you? I'd have been like, what do you mean calm down? I am calm. I'm calmly leaving this place. Are there any ghostly spirits in this house? No way, dude. Dude. No way. Did that piano just seriously play by itself? Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, oh, oh. 
Dude, we should get out of this. Oh my gosh. Oh, God, man. Holy shit. Hold on. Hold on. That piano is still, still playing. playing. It's still playing. Let's go back in. Oh, I'm never coming oh back God. here. At this point, we ain't friends no more. <laughs> you asking me questions like that? Nah, we ain't cool no more. That's it. Friendship over. Get in my life. So let's get as much as we can here. Okay. We need to get out of here now, we dude. Need, we need to do something or leave. I'm not just gonna sit around this house. Let's go, seriously, right now. After a while. Nah, don't run. You got what you asked for, right? The two friends make a run for their car and drive away, thankfully getting away without any harm done to them. At the beginning of the video, Chris and Jordan were confident that they were not going to be able to find anything of interest in the house, but now they have an entire camera full of spooky evidence that will serve as a warning to any who attempt to go to this building for themselves. Bro, it looked like one of those documentary style beginnings for like a horror movie. You know what I'm talking about? Like how they started off riding in the car, then they got to this place and it's all through the video camera and it got that old footage feel to it. Yeah, yeah, like they're going after like an old uh, urban legend trying to, trying to check it out or something like that. It gave that type of vibe. Old, old horror film vibes. On March 20th, 2022, a TikTok account named Scared to Death Zero uploaded the following video late at night with a card on the screen reading 430 abandoned flats and there is something in the window. At first, it seems like there is absolutely nothing to see. The uploader has his flashlight equipped, but we can't exactly see what he is talking about. But in just a matter of seconds, we finally get a good look at whatever is keeping this TikToker company. Just watch this. In it. Future in hand. <laughs> 430 abandoned flats, and there is something in the window. Uh, open. Yo. You see movement then? Yeah. Move the light. Yo. Yo. Is that? An incredibly startling face can suddenly be seen in one of the flat windows before abruptly darting back out of view. If you pause right when the strange entity appears, it's evident that whatever this thing is, the face is either deformed or bandaged up. You know, he remind me of Jack Nicholson in, in like the very, very first Batman when he was sitting in the chair after being thrown into that, whatever that toxic weight was, waste was that changed him. And he was sitting in the doctor's chair and he just started laughing with that scary laugh and he showed the glass with his, that's, that's what he looked like. It certainly looks inhuman, or maybe it's someone wearing a creepy mask. It's also worth noting that this video was seemingly filmed at Clune Park Estate, located in Port Glasgow, which just so happens to be a ghost town. Uh, so this TikTok user seeing this in a ghost town isn't far-fetched whatsoever. Uh, but what do you think? Did this TikToker actually capture a paranormal entity on camera? I think Was this did. just some sort of prank or setup? Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And that was 5 scary videos. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. My name is Sir Spooks and I'll see you all in the next video. I just wanted to see that thing one more time and I, it's kind of like I'm glad he had like a safe distance and he was flashing the light because imagine just being inside. Imagine being inside of that building and that was the first time you interacted or came in contact with it. The f <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> that thing right there, that'll, that'll stop your heart from beating, fam. You run up on that or that jump out of the middle of nowhere.
<laughs> Look, this video here, this entire video is crazy, especially the beginning with, with that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That thing that was darting from behind the tree. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, listen, man, y'all be safe. That's why I be trying to remember to tell y'all each and every video, bro. Lock your doors, lock your windows, be safe. Did I say this video? I might not have, but if I hadn't, go run. Make sure everything is locked up and secure, all right? And y'all stick around and stay tuned, man. Till next reaction, I'm gone. Peace.